this Irish line-out taken by Paul O'Connell. Ireland go to the mall. It's five metres away to the English line. Advantage being played to Ireland. Inches away now. Control required. Stringer has. He's going to try and go on his own. Offloaded. Still the opportunity is there. Plenty on the Irish bench. O'Gara and O'Driscoll, no doubt proud of what they've achieved today. Wilkinson continues to try and marshal his troops, but it's been a lost cause for most of this game. Here's England again, giving it away. And this is the icing on the cake. Isaac Boss under the post. A perfect day for Irish rugby is rounded off with another try. Well, shambolic from, from England, but a magnificent end to a fantastic Irish performance, and the crowd erupt. And uh, what a way to finish. It was always the big, the big match in Croke Park. This one of the two, this was the one. And to come out with such a comprehensive victory, okay, fortuitous with the intercept at the end, but uh, a fitting finish really to a fantastic urge display and uh, what was the birthday present for your role? It was a day for an outpouring of emotion. It was a day to deliver an Ireland and any O.C. 
Sullivan can be well pleased with what they've achieved. Onwards to Edinburgh and another tilt at the Triple Crown and they go. They won this and they won it in style. Final score of Croke Park, Ireland 43, England 13. What an occasion and, and sorry Bill, but what a scoreline. I mean, I suppose I've been very proud to be an Irishman all my life, but to be Irish today, I don't think I've ever been as proud just to be Irish uh, on, a, on a day like today. I mean, for everybody involved in this whole occasion, from everybody involved in the GAA to the IRFU, but I think just what a fantastic and momentous day just for...